And we're kicking our Christmas crafts off with how to sew a reindeer. All of this is courtesy of Sew Mama Sew and Frogs and Frolics and the patterns are free and downloadable from Sew Mama Sew. What do you need to make this super cute reindeer is a bear, you need a thin ribbon for the neck, you need a thick ribbon which comes out of one of the antlers, you need a bit of fluff for the tail and I'm also using a couple of beads for the eyes and you can see here the little fluffy bit I've used for the tail and we've got a bell as well and of course the pattern which you need to cut out first and as I said it's free you can just download it from Sew Mama Sew and then you just place your two fabrics you've chosen to make the reindeer in and you place them right sides facing on top of each other and your pattern on top of that now we're going to be sewing from the opening gap all the way around our reindeer and then when we get to the area where you have the arrow we actually leave it open we're so only to that point where you can see my finger and then start again on the other point and do the rest and you want to use a really small stitch like 1.5 so nothing frays when you cut back and you can now cut out your reindeer. This is so much easier than cutting out two bits and then trying to sew around with an even seam allowance. And now we're going to cut back our seam allowances really well. That's quite important. Otherwise it won't be so easy to turn it and it'll look all a bit crumpled. You also need a ribbon that's 24 or 23 centimeters long. Fold it in half attach a safety pin to the top and then bring it through that gap you left and go out where you have the antler. Just a little bit because we're then going to simply sew across the top. So put a pin there so it can slip back in and just simply close that. Then you turn your reindeer inside out and it should look like this. Will take you a little bit of time but well worth it. Stuff it really well. I'm using a scissor here to push my stuffing into all my antlers. And once you've stuffed it really, really well and it's quite thick, you only need to close the back. And I'm using a sort of um, stitch where I go in between the seam allowances. So you can see it here, maybe I'm tunneling through almost. I don't want any ugly scarring. Um, as you will see later, I've actually put a saddle on to this, but if you didn't do that, then you didn't want any of that. So you come out exactly where you go in and then go to the other side, secure your thread and put that lovely little tail on as well. And um, once you've done that, it really is finished apart from the eyes. So double thread with a knot in the end and I'm going to string up one of my beads onto there and I really pull that through so the eyes are almost like pulling into each other and from the other side I put another bead on, go back to the other side and then secure the thread. Also I'm going to put a bell on which I thread through a ribbon and then I just tie it around the neck nice little bow or just a knot and there you go you have it it's actually finished but I wanted to put a saddle on because I got a bit carried away so I have a double thread uh, I used a contrast color in, color in yellow and I have to say I wish I'd used embroidery thread this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be so you form a loop and you go through that and that gives you a knot which sits on the edge and it looks really pretty. Go all the way around. But if you're just using sewing machine thread because you haven't got any embroidery thread, the thing is it will, you know, tangle a little bit so you have to take your time with it. Then secure your thread, pull up that one that obviously is a bit school with there and um, you've got it, it's done. And finally I took the wider ribbon again to just tie a knot and then make a bow on the top um, and that really completes the reindeer which is absolutely brilliant I love it so now go and download your pattern pack which includes two more patterns for which you have a video and lots lots more all sorts of shapes hearts 
um, gingerbread men. So go and get your free patterns from Sew Mama Sew right now and get crafting.